the comedian, 41, posted a series of tweets on Tuesday in which he addressed his haters, writing, I got time today, the, he's not funny, slander is the best, this is for you, Hart tweeted. I have three stand-up comedy specials that fall in the top 10 highest grossing comedy specials of all time, point two of my specials are in the top three of all time. He continued, I have been the highest grossing comedian in entertainment for years now, I have also been the highest grossing comedian in the box office with over 4 billion in earnings. I have also turned my comedic talent into a place of business and branding and radio and other revenue streams, the hate, slander fuels me to do more. You guys are what makes this business fun, because it's not about getting to the top, it's about doing your best to stay on top after you get there, Hart tweeted. I rarely talk s, but I felt the need to today. Stop believing these headlines and read the actual articles, dot you guys fall for the banana in the tailpipe trick every damn time. He added, J. Cole said it best, if you're laughing at a millionaire the joke's on you, now back to your regularly scheduled program. Live love and laugh. Hart's tweets come two days after the, if somebody has done something truly damaging then, absolutely, a consequence should be attached. But when you just talk about, nonsense. The Hart said, when did we get to a point where life was supposed to be perfect? Where people were supposed to operate perfectly all the time? I don't understand. I don't expect perfection from my kids. I don't expect it from my wife, friends, employees, he continued. Because, last I checked, the only way you grow up is from effing up. I don't know a kid who hasn't effed up or done some dumb s. Load error he continued, it's like jail. People get locked up so they can be taught a lesson. When they get out, they are supposed to be better. But if they come out and people go, I'm not giving you a job because you were in jail, then what the f did I go to jail for? That was my punishment, how do you not give those people a shot? They're saying that all life should be over because of a mistake. Your life should end and there should be no opportunity to change. What are you talking about? And who are you to make that decision?